one minute until showtime. Yo, what's up, guys? Going live tonight. I do this every Wednesday with Christy Lee, but I figured I would stream it on the back end so that the um, YouTube audience could check it out. So if you'd like to call in for prayer, healing, conversation, uh, we're open tonight. We're opening up the phone lines. This is Christy Lee's show. Tap in, tune in dot com. Make sure you guys plug in. So just doing it on the back end on my end as well. So do this every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Central. So hope y'all enjoy. Tune in with this. Hopefully everything goes good. It's the first time doing this. Let me know if you guys can hear hear um, the music and the audio and stuff coming through on the other side as well. Because this is the first time. So, Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Blog Talk Radio. How many of y'all can hear that blog talk as it just came on? Hello? Life isn't happening to you, but through you and for you. Simply responding to your thoughts, feelings, emotions and words. If you would like to unlock greater levels of understanding and discover new realities, Psychic Christy Lee will be taking your phone calls live during the show. Shift into new dimensions with your host, Christy Lee. Welcome to another great Wednesday night here on Tap In, Tune In Radio. I am Christy Lee. Super excited to have everybody be with us here tonight. And here with me, we have got Truth Seeker. Truth, you with me. I'm here, Christy. How are you tonight? <laughs> I'm doing really well, thank you. How about yourself? Doing good, doing good. We're streaming live on YouTube tonight as well, so I got my end streaming out, so this should be interesting. Yeah, it's super fun. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about that. Maybe by next week I'll be able to hop on and we can stream together. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah, definitely. Take advantage of the technology, man, definitely. Yeah, yes, <laughs> definitely. So, yeah, um, how's, how's everything going for your week? I You was in concert on Friday night. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. It was a, a small crew, but we enjoyed ourselves, right? Oh, man, I thought that it was so wonderful. It was almost like... Um, right people came right it made it really intimate and um bonding you know it was just kind of like that time where coming together and just that real form bond community everybody there and it was there was a sacredness to it it was beautiful yeah yeah everybody had a good time and i i kind of knew it was going to be like that going in so i was just ready to hang out with everybody and of course play music just for like an intimate audience for you guys and then um you know we had the the internet opened as well, streaming online, and there was hundreds of people watching online. But uh, yeah, so we had a, we had a great time this past yeah. weekend. Allie Graham is watching, listening live or watching live. So shout out to Allie; she was there at the concert. So yeah, I'm so grateful. Her and Kenny um, stopped by. They were actually the ones who came and gave me a ride over there to be with y'all. So they're um, man, they're gems. <laughs> they're gems. So hey, Allie. Yay. Yeah, I've been working on music this past week. Um, released some new stuff on Patreon. So uh, some, some new stuff out there that's going to be on two projects that I'm working on. I got that out there and uh, excited about that. Kind of, you know, writer blo uh, writer's block is gone now. I was stuck as I was working <laughs> on a song called Stuck, right, for like three weeks or so. <laughs> You know, or if not longer, I was I just couldn't get anything because I couldn't like I didn't want to try to move past this song that I was stuck on. Right. I was writing a song about being stuck with the energy, not being able to, you know, what I'm saying move the en energies through the chakra and then, you know, end up yeah. getting stuck on a creative level. And uh, yeah, finally got past that and knocked that song out. It's a blessing. It's a gem. 
And then once I got past that, there was like two other songs that just kind of came out of thin air, and I grabbed them and recorded them. So all that stuff's available on Patreon. So yeah, I've been been grinding on that. And then um, School of the Mystics was really good last week. Um, looking forward to tomorrow night. And then uh, today, you know, we had to, <laughs> we we spent some time down at the police department. <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys have to go got to the police stuff station. going on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, you know, overzealous fans and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to overstep their boundaries and just getting weird and stuff like that, and putting some people in mm-hmm. weird situations and predicaments and stuff like that. So um, that's not cool. It's never cool to make somebody feel uncomfortable or make them feel weird and intimidating and stuff so there's some you know fans in the past who have done that and i know it comes with the territory and it's gonna come again it just happens i know but you you know you step over a little bit too far man you know we just got to get this stuff on paper you know what i'm saying it's not cool mm-hmm. so i addressed it on the podcast that person joined the chat the uh, yesterday during the live stream and i was like okay here it is call your name out you know make a spectacle whatever you did it yeah you got to deal with that stuff, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be open about it, right? That's that's why we thrive is because we're open with it. We're not hiding nothing, like, you know? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, I was listening in yesterday. I didn't get a chance to actually be live, you know, in the thread chatting or anything like that. I just kind of had it playing as I was moving through some of my own stuff. But I heard um, you when you called the experience out. And I was really, like, the way that you did it was, um, you had a lot of dignity in that. I was like, oh, and I didn't know, you know, kind of what was happening in the chat, but at the same I could just kind of feel the energy of it. And I was like going, man, you just handled that. And you just, it was like, you didn't even skip a beat. It was almost like one of those, oh man, here, I have no choice but to do this and I'm going to do it right now. And then I'm going to go right back into what I was doing to begin with before you came and tried to interrupt the party. <laughs> so good job on that one. Everybody handles mm-hmm. trolls differently, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Some people feed the trolls. They antagonize the trolls. Some people make fun of them. Some people screenshot them and share mm-hmm. it. And then, the, you know, you give the trolls a platform, though. I don't like doing that. I don't like to let people mm-hmm. barge in on what I've, what's taken me years to build. You know, and even when we open ourselves mm-hmm. up with open phone lines, like that's kind of, you know, give, giving some people free reign to call in and be silly and stuff like that, too. And I've had to deal with that in the past. Luckily, we haven't really had that on, on, on your show, but, you know, it's it's just something where people um, feel like they can just barge in and do what they want. Everybody handles it differently. And I like to kind of, you know, handle it, I guess, maybe, you know, like if you look at the comedians and stuff, when they get hecklers who you know, come to their show, come to their place of business or whatever. And then they start yelling profanities and making fun of the person while they're trying to perform and do their set or whatever the case is. And they'll, they'll call them up on stage or they'll call them out and they'll make the show about them. And I don't want to do that, but I guess yesterday I had to kind of, you know, name that person out and Mm -hmm. it sucks because you don't want to give them free publicity and, or even talk about it, mm-hmm. but that's something that you have to, though, because it just comes with the territory. Mm-hmm. And just so, you know, mm-hmm. I've been dealing with this stuff for a long time, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep dealing with it. I know. We all are. I mean, mm-hmm. it just comes with it. With the bigger mm-hmm. the platform, the more people have eyes on you, and they try to come out the woodwork. So there's weird ideas mm-hmm. and stuff. So, But yeah. we went down, we went down yeah. to the police station and had to file out some reports and stuff. So just to make my wife feel better, so. Well, I think that it's important to um, stand your ground like that and, you know, bring um, what's, it's kind of like, you know, a person that's coming with a name that's not even legit theirs. It's kind of like, let's just bring everything out into the light, right? Like all lies come out of the dark and into the light and all truths be told now. And I think it's important for the person to get help, right, or to um, know that you guys mean business, that that's not acceptable. It's not okay to harass you guys. It's not okay to harass your friends. It's not okay to show up on all of your things. And and to do that, the girl clearly needs some help. (laughs) Yeah, we've dealt with that in the past, you know what I'm saying, with other people. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I think we're going to continue. It's just part of it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, Weird ideas and drugs and... Mental, mentally unstable people 
come into your reality and stuff. And, you know, we dealt with it in the past. And it's, I, I hate to say yeah. that I'm, I, even as I say that, I don't want to feel like I'm creating it or like welcoming it while saying, yeah, we're going to deal with it. But no, mm-hmm. I've seen this play out and I know how this goes, especially anything religious or spiritual oriented. You know, it's in many cases, it's a breeding ground for these type of people, you know, it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. So if, you know, it's good, though, to be authentic and transparent and to bring it out. It's also a good teaching tool for others that they can get ideas on how to move through um, experiences and energies like that themselves. Right. We can learn from one another. And so, again, I really commend you in the way that you addressed it yesterday and have been addressing it all along, you know, and that you're um, brave enough to bring a public to talk about those kinds of things because it's real. It's life. Everybody has stuff in life that they go through. So, um, It's not my intention, and it's not my intention, and I think we've Mm -hmm. even talked about this with maybe similar cases. It's like you don't -hmm. don't want to – publicize or poke fun of people who Mm -hmm. are mentally unstable people who have psychological problems you know what i'm saying you don't want to like make a spectacle out of them they really have they need help Mm -hmm. but maybe this would be the only way to get help if it said look you know be careful like what you're not you're not uh you're not right you know what i'm saying like something's up and so i think if enough Mm -hmm. people tell that person that then hopefully in the end they'll kind of catch on maybe they know what to begin with they're on this weird witch hunt or something you know i don't know Mm -hmm. hi yeah i don't know i don't know (laughs) Uh, yeah i know (laughs) it's i don't care it's just my when it when it oversteps you know my wife you know what i'm saying and my i have a family so i have to protect them Mm -hmm. and uh hope they need to feel safe and things Mm -hmm. so that's when it becomes a problem i'll deal with them i don't care Mm -hmm. It's, you know, the family, so. Yep. Yes. Yeah, and that's a priority, right, is what we have going on inside of our own house. We've got to be taking, um, we've got to make sure our values align to that because if our own house isn't in order, what do we have to give outside of that house, right? And so it's you taking and aligning to your values. And that's something that's outside of that. And so, you know. Yep, yep. What about you? What have you been uh, experiencing the last week? Two weeks. Because we, we didn't yeah. go live last week. Last week was uh, yeah. s- Halloween. Samhain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been having a major breakthrough over here. Um, doing a lot of writing, creating, um, reading. <laughs> doing just like I pulled myself back from social media a lot. Um I myself am being, you know, I I am at a point right now where I'm being asked to outcreate myself. Um, Sometimes I think when we hit a point of having, right, needs, um, such as me totaling my car and need of a different car, those kinds of things, it's kind of like, okay, so what can I do with this? What else else is possible? And knowing that for every need, the um, provision already exists, but that doesn't mean you can just sit on your couch and wave a wand and you're going to have a car line in your living room, right? So I'm over here. Um, <laughs> I'm over here creating, and I'm really excited um, to be bringing out a new modality here right away. Um, super excited to put. A, I've been really putting it together. Um, kind of a little insight on it. I'm going to be offering um, about emotions and how they're created, where they're created at in our body, ways to release them, ways to hold space and presence for them, um, how to actually muscle test how the subconscious mind like works in accordance with our body, what creates disease, what it's all about. Um, and then a lot of things about moving past it, right? How do we move through it? And so several different techniques on things that work for myself, things that work for my clients, things that I use in my daily life, kind of a thing and self healing kind of tips, tricks and ways to, um, kind of move through it all so i'm really excited to be bringing the new modality out and it's it's kind of taking a lot of really nice form and um so yeah that's what i'm over here doing and i'm super excited Mm -hmm. awesome creativity flowing yeah 
mm-hmm. breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, and it, yes, and it even has like cool parts too on spirit body connection. What does that mean? How do you get there? On, um, you know, like mind body connection. What is that? How do you get there? <laughs> and on like even earth to spirit connection, and on ways of, um, you know, earth to mind, earth to body connections, and then aligning our source essence with spirit, with mind, with body, coming into harmony with those things. And so it's going to be powerful. It's being a lot of fun. I've got up. I've actually started. Um, implementing like qigong back into my daily life doing yeah. it throughout my day um kind of a thing so yeah i've got a lot of action and creativity just running and flowing and having fun mm-hmm. yeah that's what's up good stuff yeah yeah i'm excited so yes <laughs> super excited yeah, and then I still have, um, you know, Sunday night group running. I've got Monday night group running regular sessions that I've been doing. Um, and it's kind of interesting. I've had, um, you know, a few mediumship sessions over the last few weeks. It's not necessarily purposely, but it just kind of has come through um, in the midst of it. And so there's been some things that have really set some people free. One of the women who I had... I had had a session with, um, she had gone through a series of miscarriages and she had always blamed herself. She thought that she was being punished. It was like karmic, right? That yeah. was coming from another life. And, um, when the, her, the children, right, were still the, the spirits of her kids came and they actually talked to her and gave her the comfort that she needed to forgive herself and move on and spirit delivering like a, a message to her, kind of giving her a greater purpose of what it was all about and how can it actually um, help her in her life now and where can she, what can she do with assisting others after she goes through, you know, coming into a semblance of peace and healed through it. And that was powerful. I was like, whoa, <laughs> it, it really was pretty amazing to, um, to have an opportunity to meet with them, to meet with the little, you know, the spirits of the kids. And, yeah. And then we had another one who um, came through a father, and he on Earth, um, he had spent time in Vietnam and was came back from Vietnam and went to drugs, alcohol, um, got married, ended up being pretty abusive to mom and the other siblings or whatever, and later ended up in a wheelchair, parents divorced, but ended up in a wheelchair with a lot of amputated, amputated limbs, but he left when she was young, and later he crossed, and she was always, you know, kind of felt some kind of way about that, but he showed up and gave a message and, and assured that his body doesn't, um, you know what I mean, the limbs and the things that he had that were plaguing him here, he's no longer in suffering for, so talk to her a little bit about um, what happened, you know, like what happened on earth and, and what's happened for him since he's been there. So a lot of really just cool stuff has been coming in. Love Heck to yeah. watch people be set free. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It was interesting because my body just wanted to get up and dance. Right. Some, mm. some people um, in spirit form are really good at projecting pictures in my mind or they'll actually give me words to speak or something and other times I just can feel and sense kind of things in my own body but it was like literally I was like wanting to get up and dance across my room I was like oh, he is happy dancing you know it was amazing that's awesome so, yeah cool stuff real cool stuff so Lots of fun things. <laughs> you just never know. You just never know what's going to happen during the session. They're all so unique. And so all of it I'm grateful for. <laughs> That's awesome. I know how that yeah. dancing dancing goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dance for joy. Mm. Yeah. Freedom. It's a Yeah, we gotta do It's a symbol of freedom. Go on. It's a symbol mm-hmm. of freedom. Mhm. Yep. Yeah, it is. And 
it also, like, it moves your body energy, right? When somebody can really just shut their eyes and let their body move into the rhythm of the of the beat of the music or whatever, where you kind of become the song. And um, it's a good way to connect into spirit is by dancing as well in a physical realm, right? Your own spirit or the Holy Spirit, whatever you'd like to refer to that as. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a really good way to be connected into um, your body. Mm-hmm. Um, Ecclesiastes uh, three four says, "A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance." So there is a time to dance. Wow! Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I wasn't aware of of that scripture, but that's super cool. Kind of how it fits on in, right? Because he was giving her assurance that he's dancing. <laughs> he's mm-hmm. not that. You know, his body's not suffering. He's not in pain. He's back to wholeness. He's he's dancing and celebrating, yeah. <laughs> and not only for his own, you know, where he's at in in the life after life, but we're celebrating and dancing even in celebration of her and the life she has here on this earth. And that's that's something that I just love so much about our ancestors and the celebration, right, that they have for us. And it's so cool to get to be a witness to it when it happens sometimes. Mhm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, I want to let everybody know who's in the uh, in the chat here because uh, this is the first time uh, streaming this event, which we do every Wednesday night here on Blog Talk Radio, TapInTuneIn dot com. This is Christy Lee's program, and so I'm just kind of live streaming it on my end as well, just so everyone who's listening in my chat, hanging out here, I do see your chat. Um, if you'd like to call in. The number is across the bottom here, and it's also in the description. So if you'd like to join the conversation or if you need prayer or would like a reading from Christy Lee, uh, you could do that. Just call us up and uh, join the conversation. So everything is welcome. So just want to offer that for you guys. Uh, If you just want to listen and hang out, you could do that as well. And uh, a lot of times as we minister to the people who call in, many times it's for other people as well. Somebody can call in and uh, as an act of faith and need prayer for their back or whatever the case is need um uh some wisdom or uh, about something that they're going through and that wisdom is applicable for whoever's listening sometimes it's universal stuff so just kind of catches on that way so that's the beautiful thing about being able to broadcast uh freely over the internet and even even people come back who listen weeks later months later i've had people listen years later and i get comments like man your prayer at the end of that really touched me i'm in tears now and i'm like wow I forgot we even did that. It was like two years ago, you know, and uh, so that's just how yeah. the, the spirit works. So if you'd like to call in and join, um, it's kind of a community thing that we do here and uh, you're uh, free to do that. So the number streaming across the bottom, it's uh, 215-383-3797. Make sure that you push one when you call in so that we know you'd like to come on the air as well. So. Yeah, go ahead and do that. So, yeah, shout out to everybody in the chat holding us down right now. And, uh, uh, let's see. I just want to ask this one question. Somebody's asking on the back end. Blake wants to know what I'm burning. I'm burning some um, copal resin. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm. It kind of helps you to enter trance state, and it's real relaxing and uh, really good. Would you say that, Christy Lee? You like that? I know oh, I turned I you on to that copal I resin, huh? Yeah, um, we picked it up over at the um, powwow last mm-hmm. November, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for some more. We've got that coming up again here right about Thanksgiving, right after the mm-hmm. same day or the day after. It, it'll be yeah, on I Thanksgiving Day, but it's that whole weekend more. usually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some more. I'm completely out. But yes, you're the one who turned me on to it, and I love this stuff. Heck, yeah. Well, you ready to jump into some of these calls here and jump into the phone lines? What? Yeah, let's do it. You want to pray us in or you think we're good to go on? Sure. Yeah, I'll pray us in. Pray us into that segment. All right. Let's just see. So we're just going to pray. And all you guys just uh, listening and watching, it's not really something just to, to watch. If you're not if you're not joining with us in the spirit, you're just kind of just spectating or whatever. But this is kind of a group effort. This is our group meditation, group healing. And so we have regulars who join us every week for this. And so if... You just like some of that energy. If you like that healing, you just need a fresh touch, whatever it is. 
we just invite you to tap in with us even now. Go ahead and do that. So uh, let's see. Um, let me turn that music down a little. Okay. All right, I'm just going to pray. Father, we just thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your grace and for your mercy as always, God. With each day that you've blessed us with, a new breath to breathe, God, that we're animated with all life. That dwells within our lungs and our heart center, God, in our space, God. That you fill us up, that you meet us where we are. Each and every one of us, you know exactly where we are at this very moment. You know where we've been. You know what we've been through, you know, the things that we've been carrying, the things that we've been trying to hide at times, the things that we've been trying to uh, keep away from you and keep away from others and project this image and trying to keep images up and things, personas that are not really us, God. But I just thank you that you know who we are deep down to the soul level. I just ask you, God, just to meet us here tonight. Whoever's dealing with anything that you just need a fresh touch, whatever it is in their spirit, in their body, in their mind, if they need healing, whatever it is, God, I just ask that you meet them here tonight in this place, that you reach out to them right now, top of the head, to the soles of their feet, just to move down their body, to speak peace, 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 in Jesus' name, God, we love you, we bless you, we're just so thankful for your grace and for your presence in our lives, God, without it, we are nothing, let us not ever get away from that eternal flame that's burning within us. Let us not get ahead of you. Let us not get too far behind you. But just let us walk in cadence in the spirit. I just thank you for grace just to be multiplied even now. Lord, you said where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. Where we miss the mark, where we keep doing the things that we don't want to do, the things that we seem to have conquered years ago, want to come back and tempt us and laugh in our face that your grace abounds even more. And there's grace for that. With each morning, with each breath, God, that your mercies are new. We just extend that right now to just whoever's listening needs that touch. Right now, we just breathe it in. Breathe in. Peace, love, and understanding. That's our inheritance. One of the only things that you've given us that nobody else can take away because they didn't give it. A peace that surpasses all understanding that nobody can give us other than you and nobody can take away. It's our inheritance as children of the Most High. Let let nobody rob us of that peace. Nobody rob us of that joy. And the scripture says that any tongue that rises up against us in judgment, you said, thou shalt condemn. We just condemn any voices that are rising up against my brothers and sisters in judgment right now we send them back from where they came satan is the accuser of the brethren the adversary and anybody who's being overwhelmed by any spirits or any voices that are not supposed to be there are just getting overwhelmed we speak peace right now we just speak peace in jesus name god send forth your word god to heal them we ask Bless, bless, bless. Peace, 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 God. We praise you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Praise God. Mm. Yeah, aho and amen. Thank you. It's kind of interesting. You're, in your prayer, you talked about um, the hiding aspect, right? And earlier today when I was writing, I wrote down... Um, you do not hide anything without a potency behind it. And that includes like parts of ourselves, right, that we want to keep hidden, that behind that shame or behind the fear of allowing ourselves to just like bring it out to the public, talk about it, or just be honest with even with ourselves, right, to stop trying to hide from it on our own, that the power and the potency behind that is huge. So I was kind of um, writing about that topic today. Yeah. And... Yeah, and then I had written down how much of myself am I hiding in plain sight? <laughs> yep. How much of myself am I hiding that is actually true for me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why the scripture always talks about uh, whatever you do, do it in the light. Even confessing your yeah. sins one to another. It's not so much the sin that God's going to punish you <laughs> or this heaviness or weight or punishment that you're scared of. You have to 
mm-hmm. hold upon yourself. It's the it's the the sin really is the hiding it. It's trying to act like mm-hmm. you didn't do it. No, I didn't do it. Nope, I didn't. You know, you're trying mm-hmm. to hide it from God, and that's the whole thing with Adam uh, sinning or whatever, and then trying to hide it from God. No, I'm not naked. Look, I got clothes on. Look, see, mm-hmm. you can't see my nakedness. It's like, hold on, who told you you were naked? Like, hold on, like. What's the that's mm-hmm. the sin like you're 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 and you're creating these personas in these different places to run and to hide from God, which there's no yeah. that's not possible. You can't do it. You can't run and hide from the father. There's nowhere you can go. Trust me. We've tried it. <laughs> Have fun. Mm-hmm. It's going to cost right. you a lot of time mm-hmm. and energy and maybe money, you know, but you can't do it. You know, so it's about being in the light as he is in the light. And as long as you're in that light. There's nothing to hide. Every you're just you. You are naked mm-hmm. before God. Talking about dancing mm-hmm. and talk about nakedness. It talks about King mm-hmm. David worshiping God. He said he danced nakedly before the Lord. And a lot of people think that that's talking about he literally danced his way out of his clothes. But to really be able to dance like that in the spirit of Christ, like you can't have anything blocking that relationship. You can't have anything coming in the in, in, getting in the way. So that's what it's talking about, being naked as well, not having anything that's covering you yeah. up or trying to hide you. You're open. Look, open with your flaws. Mm-hmm. It's not about like waiting to, mm-hmm. until you're perfected. We are perfected even now. Come as you are. Yeah. That's what it's about. And so that's the yeah. grace and the love that just enables us to be holy, to walk in holiness and be righteous. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and on an energetic level, right, when we're throwing masks or trying to act like, oh, I'm fine, that smile when, you know, the core of you was crying, or you're feeling anger, oh, no, I'm not mad, right? <laughs> yep, or yep, all the yep. other things, there's nothing wrong, <laughs> you know, you've got the whole weight <laughs> of the world on you, your shoulders are drooping, yeah. your face is sagging, your eyes are sad, yeah, oh, but yeah. nothing, it's all good. It, on an energetic level, it's prickly, right? And so yeah. you're saying one thing with your mouth and saying something else to others, and others can or with your heart. do it. There's no... Exactly. Yeah. Or we're even denying it to ourselves. Like, I never get mad. I did that for years. <laughs> I've already shared that on the line. You know, when we've been here talking before where I didn't allow myself to get mad, but I had a lot of anger <laughs> that I was not willing to recognize. And mm-hmm. so, yes. Then I put another thing here on this piece of paper, and it just kind of falls in with our conversation, but I put vulnerability is simply recognizing where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, here I am right now. This is what I'm going through, <laughs> whether it's to ourselves, to God, to others, to a you know person that can actually hold sacred space and allow you to have your own experience and mm-hmm. and um, kind of shine for you when you're in your dark, right? So yep. there is some, uh, sometimes I think there is some discernment that needs to be used with that. But yeah, good stuff. We're definitely on the same, um, <laughs> same spirit flowing here, brother. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's for somebody, man. The, be, the Bible says to be in the light yeah. as he is in the light. And confession Mm -hmm. one to another so that your sins may be forgiven. It's because you're holding it in. Once you confess it, you get it out. You're trying to hide it within. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. It's it, man, there's Mm -hmm. disease and sickness and depression and all types of stuff likes to creep in when you try to hold that stuff in. So getting it out, just be open, (laughs) be an open vessel, open book, whatever the case is, being vulnerable, all of that. you'll, You'll be walking in freedom. True freedom. A lot of times, too, just acknowledging it, right? Like uh, the simple acknowledgement of um, where you're at shifts the energy. It's like it doesn't have to run. Um, it, it's it, A lot of times when we won't acknowledge it, it becomes shadow run ego. And so it, everything in our reality becomes an exaggerated um sense of what we're trying to hide, what we have hidden, right? We're going to see it in the people around us and in our experiences. And, but it's exaggerated and the moment that we're willing to acknowledge like oh my gosh I'm going to acknowledge where I'm at right now I'm going to be right here in this space and acknowledge it I'm going to identify with what I'm feeling I'm going to identify with what I'm thinking I'm going to identify with where I'm at with the trigger with the feeling of my body once we take and bring it to an awareness and acknowledgement it instantly shifts it opens up new possibilities from there yep mm-hmm 
Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Amen. We'll go ahead and jump to our first caller here. Like I said, if you're on the line and you would like to come on, make sure you push that one so that we know you want to come on air. So our first caller is calling from the 516 area code. Caller, you live with Christy Lee. Who are we speaking with? Hi, this is Randy. Hi, Randy. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could help me with my money blocks. Okay, money block. Um, what part of the world are you calling from, Randy? Colorado. Colorado. Okay, I I love Colorado. I'm actually was born and raised in Utah, um, not oh, too cool. far off the Colorado border. Yeah, I lived in that area. So yeah, Colorado is gorgeous. So welcome, yeah. welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So can we talk just for a second about um, your money story, what you are perceiving as happening, and we'll and I'll tell you the energy behind it and what exactly is going on afterwards, if you're cool with that. Yeah. Um, well, I, I would say with the combination of my husband's money blocks and my, my money blocks, because um, we feed off of each other, <laughs> our fears. Mm -hmm. um, but we are, I hate to say, to admit it, but like we got ourselves in a hole with debt. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I Hi. think a part of it is that I, I maybe was supposed to like, I don't know, I had been told I was supposed to have my own business and I, I had tried and I kind of gave up and I'm, I'm kind of, now I'm kind of feeling like I did this to myself. <laughs> I mm -hmm. feel like I didn't accomplish what I was supposed to accomplish on this earth. I'm getting mm -hmm. older. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So um, first, I just want to kind of honor you in the space that you're in right now. Thank you for coming, for being present, for opening up, for sharing, right? It's almost like a time where you're just able to like lay it on your altar and go like... <laughs> We've got, we're in over our head, and I don't quite know how to fix it. You've got some shame kind of imprinting going on with some fear kind of of your future, like you've missed the mark somehow. And the first thing I'm hearing for you is that it's never too late. Any, many, many, many people um, have like a seemingly fell right before they get breakthrough. Um, I sense that you will stand back up and you'll come back into allowing yourself to express um, what it is what you're here to do purpose like on purpose um, in the future so your chance is not over <laughs> it's just a matter of your learning about yourself through the experience um, to kind of go into as I'm in your energy um, I'm feeling a lot of heaviness around your heart and so that would be like your heart chakra closed off, um, heaviness on your heart, probably from the experience, from, you know, the way that you're thinking, feeling everything kind of about it. I feel like though it goes back further than this, just this experience. Um, you've always been a really good giver, haven't you? But not always such a good receiver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of where I'm feeling. And right unfortunately, you have to receive right now, and the person we're receiving yeah, from. It's probably going to mm -hmm. shame us. It's going to feel really bad, but I mean, he's going to help us. But he's mm -hmm. going to feel very like I know he's going to feel make me feel even more shame. Mhm. Mm mhm. Yeah, or you could shift your perspective a little bit on it, right? Um, <laughs> I just know him. <laughs> they're like, how mm -hmm. could you do this? Well, they're like, how could you do this? How could you get yourself in this way? Like, I mm -hmm. just know mm. how they are. <laughs> yes. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, I can feel, um, I can feel it's going all the way, like, deep down into your, um, power center, all the way down even into your base chakra, to where it almost feels like you're, um, not actually embodied in your body right now. Um, uh, do you want to clear a little bit of that out? Sure. Just go ahead and are you in a space where you can um, close your eyes and just work with me for a minute? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Just go ahead and allow yourself just to close your eyes. 
And just start by taking a really good deep breath into your belly. And just do a good out breath. Go ahead and take another deep breath in. With a really good out breath. And just do a third deep belly breath in. And just allow yourself to soften into this moment, just feeling like any of the heaviness or tension or density or any of those things. Just let the fresh energy that's coming in just to begin to soften those energies and allow you just to soften a little more into your body. Feeling yourself just relax. Just even feeling like that tension that is in your forehead, around your eyes. Allow yourself just to even lift your forehead up just a little bit and then back down again. Just relax. Good. And even tilt your head back a little bit so you can allow that essence, that energy to just begin to open up and move down and into your throat. And with that, just taking another good breath, just allowing new life to begin to flow, to be able to come in, to support you, to sustain you. And just let all the heaviness just go out on the out breath. Good. And allow yourself just to roll your shoulders back and let your shoulders drop with your chest opening. And as you do that, all those burdens that you're packing around, all the worry, all the tension, all the guilt, all the shame, all the coulda, woulda, shoulda, did, don't, all of um, the projections of someone else's expectation on you, all the expectation that you've placed upon yourself, all the all the ways that you have judged yourself and made yourself wrong. Just allow all of that weight to just be lifted up and off of you now, just all of that weight. You don't have to pack that or carry that. And just allow yourself just to take in another breath all the way into your lungs and just let them fill up. And just do another really good out breath. Good. Just take um, a breath down into your abdomen, just kind of where your rib cage bees right there. Um, that's considered like your power center. And just as you're bringing that breath in and doing a good out breath, <sighs> yeah, go ahead and call your power back to you. Anywhere where you have given your power away, anywhere where you have a power leak, any of the areas that you're feeling disempowered within or someone else has stole your power from you, allow all of your power to come back to you into full consciousness and to be restored right now in this moment. Just let it come back in to you. It's just an energy and it will restore coming back into full consciousness, allowing you to come more fully into your own power. And even an activation um, within you, 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 have, uh, you have the ability to stand in your power. And even if there's something that you haven't known how to completely do in the past, or there's some of that codependence that's kind of gone on, or people-pleasing kind of stuff, or um, any of the things even around like self-worth or whatever it might be, you have a greater side of yourself that knows that you are powerful, that knows it's safe for you to be in your power, that knows that you are a co-creator with the essence of this universe, with source, essence, um, with earth energies, with the atmosphere that's all around you. You know that deep within your bosom, deep within your state of beingness, it's, it's encoded in every single layer and fiber of your body of your spirit and just allow that um, activation just to come in to really give you a new insight on what it means to step into your power what it means to be able to um, powerfully co-create your reality and that you can do it you can speak your truth your state 
and just allow yourself to just receive that activation. Good. Just kind of take your awareness down into your hips and just be present at your hips for a minute. Kind of like any of that confusion about what direction you're going to step forward in your future or any of the binds that are tying you to the past from your experiences that didn't work before. Allow yourself just to receive infinite love and grace and just allow that energy of infinite love and grace just to come in and adjust you to where you're coming back into divine order, releasing you from any and all binds that ties to your past and any fear of your future and really letting you come more fully into your body. Good, 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 good. Just take another deep breath. And even like this breath, let's do an up breath. So you're going to breathe like from the base of your body out the top of your head almost. And just do a good out breath. Good. And take your hands and just move them into a prayer position right there, like praying hands right there in front of your heart. And right there at your heart, allow infinite love with infinite grace and ease come in and just allow those energies to come in and just to repair any and all broken heartedness, to allow any of the areas of your heart that's been feeling a heaviness anywhere where you've got a stop or a block from being able to receive um, the goodness and the glory that's available for you to receive your provision anywhere where there's an imbalance of giving more than you have coming back around to you just receive infinite love grace and just infinite love and grace and just receive infinite love and grace and just receive 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 allowing it just to open you up and restore you back into divine order Allow yourself just to receive that right now and just adjusting into it. Just receive, receive, receive. Beautiful. Just kind of be there for just a moment and just allow those energies just to spill in, to continue just to spill in, giving you, just opening you up more fully to having your heart open, the equilibrium and the balance put back into your body, into your system. Just allowing yourself to have divine order, just adjust, 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 bringing you completely back into your center. Good. Take your awareness down to your feet and just allow yourself to really ground into this energy, allowing yourself to be more fully in your body, allowing yourself to um, have a firm foundation that you're standing on where you're deeply rooted in divine love and divine grace and divine ease and allowing that peace to become um, like the, the ground that you step on and the steps you take forward in your life and just really come into that grounding, that nurturing, that nourishment and just let yourself just be there present with it right now. Good. Good, good, good. And just receive peace, 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 peace. Just peace, be still. Peace, 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 be still. Good. How are you feeling right now, Randy? Thank you. It was really nice. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, do you, you feel know, lighter? It's, it's, a, it's a long road. It's going to take a while to mm-hmm. be <laughs> completely. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it was a good start. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, this may um, infinite love with ease and grace continue to um, present themselves in your life where you can just soften into being a receiver of that. Um, it's always available for you. And so just may you continue to be a receiver of just that infinite love, that grace that is can just really come in and lubricate all of those sticky um, areas of your life and all of those sticky seemingly sticky situations that can just literally come and smooth it out for you. May you just come into more and more of an awareness of that being available for you in every now moment. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending the time and 
you know, yeah. working with me on that. I really am very grateful for that. Yes, we are welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Take care. Mm-hmm. You still there, Randy? I am. Oh, I got something for you, too. Oh, great. I'm just going to release this over you. This wow. is just a, a prayer that I've, I've picked up for you. Ooh, uh, the word that I got for you is opportunity. Um, even right when you called, I just feel like the Lord's going to begin to open up some new doors for you and your husband, some new opportunities with the Thank old you. things that you guys were already doing. So no, it's not going to be something, a whole new thing. It's what you're already doing, just stepping into a new opportunity, a new season. So I feel like God's going to open up the doors for increase. And so going to make a way where there is no way, where there's you looking around, you're trying to find out how we're going to make this work. There is no way, and there's going to be a way. So he said he is the one who makes a way where there is no way so that nobody else can get the glory. But you have to look up to heaven, and you have to exalt the Most High God for what he's done in your life because he's led you here. He hasn't led you here just to kind of abandon you or come back later to check on you. He's led you here for a reason and for a season. And so everything that you guys are going through, it's to, it's pr to produce fruit and to get you guys ready for where you're headed so just rejoice when all of these other times of uncertainties are coming because uh, there's something greater ahead of you and even now like you said just now that uh it, at least tonight is going to be uh something it's, it's a start in that new chapter in that new direction so just rejoice in that i just bless you with uh new opportunities and in a new season and you're going to begin to see change happen opportunities I, I bless you with that in the name of the lord amen thank you mm -hmm. thank you thank amen. you yeah thank you lord beautiful thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> i really greatly yeah. appreciate you both so i mm -hmm. you know i don't know what to say i'm not really great with my gratitude but i'm i'm feeling very very grateful so awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah lift up I your can, countenance yeah, that's awesome <laughs> I can feel your gratitude. So thank you so much. Um, I, I just want to really thank you, right, for coming and for having the courage to bear um, these burdens in this setting. And so I just want you to know that I honor you so much, and um, I'm proud of you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Have a great night. Oh, thank okay. you for the call, Randy. Thank God bless you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. All right. Um. Next caller from the five four one area code. Hello. Cat. Cat. <laughs> 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 How are you, love? Uh, my dad left today, so I'm a little emotional about that. But it was good to see him. Mm. We were so worried about his traveling and not good health and in his old car, but anyway. <laughs> I'll get yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those bittersweet um, moments, right? Yeah. I wanted my partner yeah. back, but you know, sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's okay to be sad for a moment. It's okay to give yourself that space uh, to feel the sadness as it comes up, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I got to spend more time than I thought it would with them. So. Yeah. yeah. Think about even, you know, a month and a half ago, you didn't even know if you'd ever see him again. <laughs> so there's so much miracle that unfolded for you in that. I'm, it tickles me that you got the opportunity to spend with him. Yeah, I just felt bad. I mean, he was going to sleep in his car. Then I should have gave him my sleeping bag. I didn't think about it. He didn't have anything, you know. Like, he'll make mm -hmm. it. But mm -hmm. <laughs> those things after he left, I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm in a mm -hmm. warm apartment. 
while they're sleeping in the car, but he chooses to do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's tough sometimes to let people, um, especially our the people that we care about, our family and good friends, to make places for themselves that um, are tough or and are not always. Um, I don't know. He could have it differently. I can see where that would really be hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully I'll get to see him again. I'll make it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. It definitely wasn't without difficulties. It was good, but it was also hard. hard. Mm-hmm. I just have mm-hmm. I've had my sleep disrupted for the last three weeks, so. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll continue to hold space for you as you move through your smorgasbord of emotions that are going to be popping up, yeah. right? And, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and you'll come back over to the other side of it. But I just, you know, you're, you're learning and how to... Allow, right? <laughs> so allow yourself to feel those feelings so they don't come and treat disease later. So proud of you for that. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's so a new moon kind of, in Diwali. Uh, it's a new moon in the Festival of Lights and all kinds of things today. What's <laughs> so, happening? Yeah, I was just talking to John a few minutes before we hopped on tonight and I said I normally pay attention to like you know um, what's going on in the sky a little bit more than I do I have um, the last week or something I've just been kind of single focusing in on um, the stuff I've got creating and you know moving through my own stuff is it a new moon in Scorpio is that what we have going on yes yes it is okay the, it's the Indian uh, India Festival Diwali or whatever it's called. Yeah. 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 Lolita had sent me um, some blessings for that earlier today, and so did Adam. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. I felt a lot of gratitude for receiving the blessings for that. Um, mm-hmm. Powerful, really cool month. Um, I know that you know we have those those highs and lows in it or whatever, but. The universe is always, right, always pushing us for expansion and for growth, for letting go, for aligning into a greater part of ourselves. And so, in all of it, in all of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Are you willing to tell about the little trick you learned how to do? Remember, are you, t- are you willing to give um, the others that are listening in about your key experience? <coughs> Yeah, I, I think I lost more than one thing. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. a little thing, for, um, which I should have memorized, but I have written down. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it did work. Yeah. I did use it. I did find my keys after, like, being lost for five or six hours. Which, mm-hmm. That was the longest I ever lost my keys for. <laughs> yeah. I was starting to really freak out about it for a minute. But, yeah, there is no loss. And, uh, there is no loss chance. I will uh, uh, definitely yeah. go to that. I used it. There were two mm-hmm. other things that happened. Some little minor things that I lost too. I mean, that was the keys were big that day. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I was, I was at the end of like, I really starting to think somebody to pick them up. Mm-hmm. I couldn't figure it out, and I did do that chance several times, and I did find it like soon after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's kind of cool. If it's okay, I'm just going to tell everybody that's listening um, what that's about. So yeah. she had been, she had been, um, Kat, our friend here, had been struggling for hours looking for her keys and could not find them and was kind of at the end of her rope. And she shot me a message like, oh, my gosh, I think all these things, all these things. And I'm like hey, I have an idea, um, just begin to chant, there is no loss in divine mind, so therefore there can be no loss with my keys either. 
what is mine by divine right pop up somewhere obviously now and immediately and I told her you'll find them they're going to be somewhere really obvious just keep chanting it and then kind of move away from it and um yeah, what would it take, like, maybe 15 minutes after, and they were right there in your cupboard? Yeah, right after, and I couldn't, yeah, I was in a, the weirdest yeah. place, don't remember yeah. it, don't, I've never done that before, I'm like, mm-hmm. I couldn't leave, my, it was my house key and my car key, so I couldn't leave, I was stuck in thought I found them. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Um, I was so proud of you for putting it, you know, you were in I am presence, right? Claiming a higher truth. And it helped you to move away from or out of, move through fear, right? And into an alignment yes. with, with a higher truth. So, as, as my, so proud well, of you, right? mm-hmm. Oh, my dad was here and he loses things a lot. He's absent mindedness for different reasons. Um, thing. So he was feeding that fuel, like making it worse. I can't believe you didn't put it in a certain spot. <laughs> you know, somebody stole it, or you know, it was like turning into a huge thing. And then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yay! 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 Yeah. Yay! So, guys, that works. If if you guys are ever um, having some things that you can't find that you think are misplaced, there's a chant for you, <laughs> and it will literally. Um, energetically call what it is that you've seemingly lost back into your existence so just remember even solids are energy and um and so we can always draw it back to us um and align to that higher truth yeah so that i remember you talked about losing keys when you were camping and it wasn't here yes yeah. <laughs> Chris, um, Nicole's husband, Chris, actually was the one who popped them back into his uh, into my coat pocket. I'd lost them in the midst of the forest when we were doing an Oahu um, out there with Nicole and I and everybody, and they were gone. And the next morning, Chris called them back, and they popped in my pocket. He commanded them to pop into my pocket, and they did, like right like that. <laughs> Yeah. I know, right? I was like, Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I've I don't for a lot of things. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, I will be <laughs> keeping this nearby. Yeah. For sure. And then, mm-hmm. um, I don't know if you can just send good energy to my dad because it's going to, he, yeah. he's driving back to yeah, an old car and he has to stop a lot because he's old. And not in good health, so it's going to take him several days to get back home, probably. And mm-hmm. I'll probably be sleeping in rest stops and all those things. So. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll just go ahead and say, Holy Spirit of God, with holy angels of God, come and travel with her father. Um, angels surround him in every direction north, south, east, west, below and above, making his path clear and his way easy, allow him to be um, a recipient of the birth of divine love and peace and allow grace to um, to travel with him, put people, um, angels in human form along his route at any point that he might need assistance and allow him to um, make it to his, to his destination where he could rest well and Peacefully. Just thank you. <laughs> so it is so amazing. Thank you. Oh, and amen. Yes. There we go. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah Do you want me to play the cards? Oh, yes, please. I would say he doesn't have a cell phone, so of course I have to wait till he calls me eventually. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Every time that it crosses your mind about him in danger, um, see if you can't acknowledge what your fear is and then surrender it um, to your higher power and then turn around and thank the experience, think that he traveled in safety, that he got there with ease, yeah. that everything is going gracefully for him, and begin to speak those life-gifting words over him and his experience. So it's not denying the fear that might rise up, the concern, right? 
So you admit yeah. that and, and then surrender it and then open up and begin to go into that higher truth because that's literally um, speaking like life over him and his experiences instead of getting tangled into the fear of it. So, yeah. That's a recommendation. So, uh, yeah. You know, burning incense and a candle and all that stuff, but I just uh, saw him. There were days when he was having a really hard time with his health, and it's, yeah. it's hard so not hard. to... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it'll get there. Yeah. It is so hard. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Tell me when you'd like me to stop, Lady Love. Oh, sorry. Okay, no. Okay. Okay, it's interesting. You've got the Eight of Earth that came up for you. And the Eight of Earth is um, a learning card. It's like there's literally... A, um, kind of like an an angelic being that is sitting in a foresty kind of setting and he's got a stack of books by him and he's in a real laid back position and he's um, just like soaking in all of the knowledge that there is to know and so it's like showing me that you've been in earth school and um, and what you're going through right now is literally preparing you for a future for your future and so it's like, hang on, right? These lessons sometimes where our experiences can feel super duper hard, but it's growing mm-hmm. your strength. And so, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's interesting because the second card that was to you that popped out for you, and the second mm-hmm. one is the page of Earth. And that one is mm-hmm. also about study. Have you been thinking about learning something new? I know you're always learning something, but is there a new form of study that you're interested in right now? Well, I mean, I'm always interested in alternative health, and then, but I've thought about mm-hmm. you know, trying to take kind of art classes. Or I bought a ukulele when I was in Portland. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't play instruments, but yeah, I've been thinking about something. Some yeah, things, you're getting. Things. You're getting the um, green light on that, and that's <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Let that create. That will help you to tap back into your inner child and creativity. Music and art are both um, really good ways to unify with your with that greater part of yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm like I'm not a drawer, but I will, I want to draw. Like my sister's a tattoo artist, and my mom mm-hmm. crochets and stuff. Like, Craft and makes everything, but I haven't had my. I like, I'm good at putting things together, and I like jewelry and things, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. I haven't had my thing that I actually do or make, or you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I was trying to get my dad to write his story because, well, he's getting older, and I don't know how much time he has left. It's part of it. Mm-hmm. And I forget his story. He has so many stories, you know. So I'm hoping maybe I can help with that too. Like um, I had him start to record some stuff or write down some stuff and mm-hmm. figure that out. Figure that out. Even though he doesn't have a laptop or a cell phone or any of those things, but mm-hmm. I got him to get paper and pen and start to write because he also has a brain injury, so he has a hard time focusing. So any comment goes over the phone, mm-hmm. so I'm able to get him to. Mm-hmm. Think about that and do that a little bit. So hopefully, you know, something will come of that. I've wanted to for years. I've tried to get him to do that. So let's start. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can completely understand where that would be something that your heart would desire. Yeah. Maybe. I I mean, I haven't tried to write too much, but I need to. Maybe. He's a very good writer, but maybe somehow we collaborate on something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is also something. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Brady. <laughs> I know. I'm just kind of being here with you for a minute and allowing you just to be exactly as as you are, letting that be enough. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you would you like um, True Seeker to to prayer over you? Sure. Okay. True, do you open the <laughs> Yes. What's your dad's name? His name is Jim. Or Jim. 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 All right, Father, I just thank you for Kat. God, I thank you for her relationship with her father. Uh, I just pray that you keep him in safe travels where he's supposed to go, where he's on his travel. Let him uh, enjoy his travel. Let it not be strenuous on his body. Let it not, um, let it be just almost as an adventure in him uh, to be able to make memories and remember it, God. I just pray that Kat will be, be able to even release him to you that you have everything uh, figured out, that you have everything worked out, just to be able to release it and just not to carry that burden, just to release it unto you, God. And uh, perfect peace, we just sin right now. You said perfect peace, cast out all fear. So no fear, no doubting, and no worrying right now in Jesus' name. We just bless her with peace in the name of the Lord. Amen. Peace, peace, peace. And the word that I got for you, Kat, I don't know if it's something that you have just recently started and you maybe been thinking about wavering or if it's something that you're thinking about doing very soon but the word that i got for you was commitment that you're either you made a commitment or you're going to be making a commitment but just to make sure that you see it through don't waver don't grow weary and well doing but make sure that you ride that thing out whatever it is okay mm. It could be going back to my health thing, like seeing my dad about that mm-hmm. health the things that, you mm-hmm. know, I kind of wavered from what I've been doing lately with cleansing and stuff, and I really need to get back to be committed to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We bless you with that, Kat. Well, thank mm-hmm. you so much. <laughs> yes, and. Yeah, we'll continue holding space for you and lifting you up in prayer. Um, and you know how to get a hold of me if you, you know, want to talk or have support on um, as you're moving through the days coming forward. I'm here for you, okay? Oh, thank you so, so much. <laughs> yeah. right, Kat, thank you for the call, my, my friend. Heart to you, as I, I love you. Okay, love you both, too. God bless. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, I've uh, got a lot of callers lined up here. We're going to go ahead and jump to the next one. Caller from the 708 area code. You're live with Christy Lee. Who are we speaking with? Hi. Hi, this is Tiffany from Florida Kind of Chicago. How are you guys tonight? <laughs> Welcome, Tiffany. Doing Thank good. You. How about yourself? I am excellent. I just had a birthday. I'm always blessed to see those. <laughs> so. Happy birthday. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah, whoop. Yeah. Sorry, I holler whoop every time somebody says it. Thank hey. you. <laughs> yeah, you're a uh, celebration, right? I think it's awesome. Um, yeah. To celebrate your life and you, right? So, uh-huh. Yeah. I'm you on that. woo Yeah, for the yeah. first <laughs> birthday. This is the first birthday people were actually saying thanks for being born, like I had some say-so. But it's a, a really gracious thing to say. It made me feel all warm and fuzzy. Yes. I love right, that. So, uh, yes. <laughs> so, speaking of warm and fuzzies, I think I need some clarity. I recently had 
uh, psychic tell me that I needed to clear my energy and connections from my past life in order to meet my twin flame in this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, there are things that can loop around, right? Where a where our past, like a past life, can loop around, and there can be um, things that are residual that come into our present life, and it can even be in this life, right, where we have to clear things out and align to a um, different state of beingness before we're able to line in with, um, like, a divine mate, so to speak, or what you were considering your twin flame. Um mm-hmm. Let me just kind of be present with it and see what I'm getting. Um, I am feeling that you've got some karmic loop stuff kind of moving around with you, not anything that would hold you back back. Um, I am sensing that it's um, like aligning also within yourself, right? Your divine feminine with your divine masculine coming into that inner harmony within you. So like it's the um, divine feminine, if you think about the connectivity with that, it's connected to spirit, it's connected into flow, it's a nurturing, nourishing, it's um, an energy of openness, of spaciousness, it's a receiver, right? Um in, in you come into the divine masculine, that's being able to step up into your own power, being able to stay in your own lane, being able to execute a plan out into um, the end. You know what I mean? Like to see your plan all the way into fruition kind of a thing, to be able to um, have those strong boundaries and those kinds of things. So I sense that it's just kind of like coming into a inner balance of your um of and recognizing when you are what side are you operating over into and being able to come into the middle ground and i sense that when you do that and you're not far from that you'll end up aligning into what you would consider your twin Mm -hmm. okay because right now i have no boundaries and i don't stay in my lane ever at all yeah it's really horrible yeah you right now i'm I'm totally (laughs) in someone else's lane and it's 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 yeah like I met a beautiful person but I know I'm not supposed to be involved with this person but mm-hmm. I'm kind of stuck on stupid and bliss <laughs> and I know mm-hmm. better but the heart wants what it wants and I keep repeating the same patterns and I'm thinking what did I do in my past mm-hmm. life that this repetitive yeah. pattern will not go away I cannot get mm-hmm. rid of it I come yeah, from yeah, a long line of home records that's that um, <laughs> that karmic loops I was telling you about um, yep. yeah yeah I'd be willing to help you work through it and come into a, a greater alignment on if you want to, you know, hit me up for a private session or something and okay. let's get you back on where you're standing in your power, girlfriend, and owning your worth. <laughs> <laughs> get you over in your own lane without that self-sacrificial <coughs> um, martyr kind of stuff going on that will actually, you know, continue to create those um, patterns and karmic loops is what I call them, the karmic loops. So, okay. Well, um, your yeah. your cohort said you had a lot of callers on the line, and I hate yeah. to hog it. I mean, I have a lot of questions, but if you want to shoot me your information so that I can contact you at another time so that the people on hold can at least get a yeah. chance to talk to you, too. Okay. Okay. Yes. My website is um, tap in, tune in at um, tapintunein.com. You can find me okay. there. You can find me um, on Facebook. I'm Christy Lee. I've got a professional page and my own um, individual page. But if you go to um, tapintunein.com, you can link everything back to me. So, okay. Or shoot me even an email. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm grateful that okay, you want to help me do this. It, yeah, I'll be more than happy to help you through this. This is <clears> um, something I love to do is work in the Akasha. But I also like to help. Um, you to be able to recognize what you're embodying, right, and what you're operating within within yourself, and to hold that, to learn how to turn back towards you and become your own best friend. And so, I can see that for you in your future. I can see that you're capable of that. You're at the end. That's what you want. It's truly really what you desire. And so, yes, <laughs> I look forward to hearing from you. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Thank you for the call, my friend. All right. Moving along, we got a caller from the 908 area code. You're live with Christy Lee. Who are we speaking with? Hi, good night. This is Tiffany as well. I'm calling from New Jersey. How are you guys wow. doing? Good, good, good. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. My question was, I am... I just wanted to get in contact with a first love, but uh, I know he changed his number. I just wanted to know if that was even possible. His name is Amani. Are you meaning like possible, like he is open and receptive to receiving your contact? Yes. Okay, that's what I was kind of sensing that you were asking um, let me just kind of go into it for a minute. Let me just ask. Oh, the Spirit of God, the guy giving me the very best answer. Help me to understand if... Um, what is his name again? Hermani. If Hermani is open to communing with Sydney. I'm getting a no at this point in time, but it's like a... Um, it's, there isn't an openness yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's going on, though? What's going on with you to want to reach backwards? Just things ended abruptly and kind of bad. Mm-hmm. And it's been like a year and a half. And I went through some mm-hmm. things afterwards. And that's, but I miss him. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I was kind of wondering, um, and that's okay to miss, but it was just kind of like there's that really strong pull for you to to move backwards. And I almost sense that uh, if you continue to hold that space for yourself and go within on your inner healing, that you'll actually align into a um, a different relationship like out into the future. But I almost feel like if you were to open up that door to reach backwards, you're just going to recreate for yourselves exactly what you had before, and you're going to find yourself crashing down to, um, it will come crashing to an end again. And so the Mm. outcome wouldn't be what you would want anyways. So it's like that really big invitation for you to um, to do some inner work and, and inner healing, which I know you've been doing a ton and it's been hard. But you're, right. it's just like keep going and keep moving yourself forward um, and, and not reach back into something that didn't work the first time, right? What's the lesson in that? What does he represent to you? What is it that um, he fulfilled within you that you're feeling like you're missing right now? What is that? Then ask yourself those kinds of questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, do you have anything to add? Um, is that true seeker for Tiffany here? I'm I'm pretty much in agreement with with you. Um, you know, we 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 look back at the past, and you know, maybe we were a little bit more happier back then, or things were a little bit easier. So we like to reminisce on the yeah. past, not knowing that you know that person has changed and that person isn't the same way, you know, as they was. Like you want to recapture something that that's kind of ran its course or whatever the case is and that person's been through some things and I honestly felt like that person's done some things that would be even hard for you to be okay with if I could just say that um, it'd be hard for you to get mm-hmm. over I don't know what that means but that's, that's really what I feel so I just uh, you know I'd, I'd say let it go with the past not uh, like <clears throat> just kind of reminiscing over what could have been what might have been just kind of move on forward because god has somebody perfect for you out there and we can uh we can pray that blessing over over you just to just to bring that person in and uh and you won't have to be anticipating mm-hmm. and worrying and trying to make it happen it just it would just flow naturally for you and mm-hmm. that's really what it's about you yeah. know once we just kind of give okay. up you know <laughs> once we stop looking let's like even in all the love stories like a lot of times that's when it happens you know Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Mm. Yeah. It does. It really does. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm just hearing too for you, Tiffany. Own your work. (laughs) You are so worthy. Mm. (laughs) Own your worth. I know. And just kind of let those words marinate with you, right? Like really, what does that mean to own my worth? And is there parts of myself that I'm not recognizing that I... Just by being, right? Just by being you and just simply being that you're enough. And so own your worth, girlfriend. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. All right. Have a good night. All right. You too, Tiffany. Thank you for the call. That was interesting. Uh, Tiffany from 708 yeah. and Tiffany from 908. <laughs> uh, yeah. Everything is connected. Um, Caller mm-hmm. from the 251 area code. Who this is? Two five one. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Caller. Yes. What's going from on? Here? <laughs> um not a whole lot. Um, I've been listening and <laughs> not a whole lot, man. <laughs> oh, it's now. Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny and Allie. Yay. Mm-hmm. I was like, who is this? Hey, and all of a sudden it was like, <laughs> that's who this is. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we um we've had some pretty rough uh not last week, but about two, you know, the past three weeks were pretty rocky and I feel like we were able to um, grow in a way that I would have refused you know two weeks ago and um, we kind of were sitting here uh, wondering if you guys could pull a card for us and kind of give us um, you know just something fun to look forward to because um, we're we're looking forward now it's exciting mm-hmm. <laughs> yay I'm a, and and I'll, I'll say this because this is just the first thing that's coming to my, my mind. And this is something that's came uh, to me, you know, sharing with with Kenny. But it's universal at the same time. Um, you got to find those creative outlets. You got to find those ways to get the energy out. I, I mean, come on, sexually, you know, in a relationship, you got to get the energy out. You can't just hold it in. But on an energetic level creatively find ways to um get the stuff that you're thinking about the ideas and just get it out and i think that that helps the relationship i think it helps um individually so that you don't feel suppressed you have an outlet that you can focus that energy that we're harnessing that we're building if if we didn't get this out like we have to do this stuff. This stuff will eat us up if we don't, right? And that's why I just want to encourage both of you guys yeah. again. And you guys are. Y'all have creative outlets and different ideas and stuff. But maybe even coming together to do some more stuff. Maybe, <laughs> like, you know, the live stream that you guys did. Maybe relationship advice, being open, um, biblical advice, things like that. Maybe coming together more, doing that. But just continuing to... Um, Find those creative outlets where you guys can help people mm-hmm. so it doesn't blow up. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't, it's like having that, that, uh, that, that pot of tea on the stove that just starts boiling over, you know, if you don't, if you don't tend to it. And so just find those creative outlets, both of you, you know? Yeah. I'd like to, to be able to do that. Um, just hard with all the kids they just don't seem like they're quite old enough yeah. <laughs> to have regular podcast or anything but yeah. I'd, I'd like to <clears throat> do that kind right. of thing I don't know if I can handle the credit <laughs> huh? even continuing to um, I'm sorry Ali go on no I just said I didn't know if I could handle the critics oh <laughs> <laughs> Because you guys yeah. know I cuss, right? So You cuss? Yeah. Is that what you said? <laughs> you Allie know cusses? I cuss. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> but I never cuss on Facebook because I'm more I'm I'm educated enough to not type those words out. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, even continuing to do things like, you know, Healing Acres and events like that, look at what a wonderful time that was to bring your family together. Um, the kids, even off doing their own thing, were very entertained. And you and Kenny got some time bond to be there, to be in the flow, to be in the energy, to be around others that were... Um, you know, with an, with the same goal in mind, and that's to be more well, mind, body, spirit, soul, right? And that experience was that amazing. Kind of, yeah, and you know, just continue doing those kinds of things that will continue to buoy you up and and awaken you further, even to knowing who you are at deeper levels beyond even our humanness, right? But still allowing the humanness because we're very much so here to be human. <laughs> So, yeah, I think with those kinds of things, and, and your gifts are opening up, both of y'all's like, gifts are opening up, and your minds are expanding, and you are, your level of awareness is arising all the time, and that that sometimes means that we have to let go of some of our old paradigm and program, right? Recognize when those old paradigm and programs are running, and um, continue to question everything, but you guys have a, um, a desire to gain more awareness about yourself, about um, who you truly are, and how to learn to um, come together, right, and navigate a cool future. So I think you guys are on a perfect path. I feel like you've got a lot of openness with it. to be a witness to you guys coming together like you have over the last few weeks has been a really beautiful experience. I can see kind of even the stars in both of your eyes, right? Like you're coming in with <laughs> awarenesses that it's giving you like new universes upon universes, multiverses, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and you're finding that yeah. essence within you guys. And so keep going forward. Could One you... of the things that I have noticed is that uh, the closer that Kenny and I have grown together, the more, uh, I don't know how to, so I hit the more spiritual he's becoming, he's really coming into mm-hmm. his spiritual entunement. I can't explain that. Mm-hmm. And then I'm, I'm, my my skills are off the chart, so I have to stay grounded regularly. <laughs> yeah. No matter how that, long it, you know, it takes right. to, to, you know what I'm saying, figure out what the perfect thing is f- for you to do. Obviously, it's been changing a lot over the years, right? Here, here a little, there a little. I mean, obviously, you flow in the ministry of helps as well. I mean, you're a, a great mother, so that's going to come naturally as well. So you do that. But, um find out exactly what it is and we've even had similar conversations about this you know what i'm saying because whatever you do much like all of us whatever you do you're going it's going to happen it's not going to be something that you yeah. want to start something and then oh i just never took off no when you do it you make sure well, it you happens. Guys know, anything i've been involved with i was always the back of something else it was not mine it was mm-hmm. always somebody <laughs> else's and um, and I just should do mine, mm-hmm. I think. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'd rather it be Kenny and I's, you know. <laughs> it's worth it. Mm-hmm. it it's, it's worth anything that's worth doing is worth doing right. So don't grow weary and well doing. If it takes a little longer, you know, just like we've talked to, you know, we've given this, this wisdom to Chris and Nicole. You know, you see other people who have these different outlets and people are like, hey, do it like I'm doing it. Or, hey, this person said, hey, do it like me because they're doing mm-hmm. it wrong. You know, you can kind of mm-hmm. sit back and look at everything and say, OK, I like how they do this. I like how they do that. And I like how they do this. And then I'm mm-hmm. going to put this spin on it and let's present ourselves. And this is how mm-hmm. we're going to do it. And so taking mm-hmm. that time to sit back and be able to look and do that is going to be well worth it. So don't don't give up and don't grow weary, but make sure that, you know, every move is a calculated step and that you guys are getting ready for something huge. Really are. I believe that. I'm not just saying mm-hmm. that. I believe it. Thank too. you. Yeah, I believe it, too. And you guys have been an asset yeah. to, to, to me, my ministry and, and uh, Christy Lee and a lot of other people. That we don't even know. <laughs> that I don't even know what you are, y'all are doing. <laughs> You're doing something. I know y'all are. Yeah. You've been doing it for years. But like I said, whatever you put your hands <laughs> towards, it happens. You can bring, you can throw a concert and get people to show up. You can, you know, book this <laughs> or create 
something that didn't exist and sell it like you can do whatever you want but make mm-hmm. sure like we're saying that like it, my whole wisdom is like you're doing what the lord ha- what, what god has for you and not just something we're just settling hey, i'm helping mm-hmm. this exactly. person or don't settle right but just yeah calculate I feel it whenever the holy spirit moves <laughs> mm-hmm. and the holy spirit moves right. on me so i get yeah. difficult it, um mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like, you know, that, you know, a lot of times we learn through our polarity, right? And so when you've had experiences that were maybe a malalignment and you had that nudge knowing like, it's really not for me, get out of here. And you went against yeah. that and it had like an ending that you didn't necessarily enjoy. Always. That's your training ground. That is your training yeah, ground to know what it felt like the last time <laughs> to not follow your own inner knowing and to go against that and to continue to make what's wrong right in a sense, right? But the polarity of it, though, is awesome because the next time around um, you can heed your own inner voice and not and not keep, you know, dancing into an area, so to speak, that you know isn't really for you. And so even embrace those things. Embrace the things that seemingly didn't work and let them be your teaching tools on um, on sharpening, right, your own intuition, your own inner knowing, your own um, what it felt like kind of a thing. Like, oh, that didn't feel so good. We'll be doing that one again. <laughs> you know, I'll be a little more aware next time. Yeah, and allow yourself to have some play. You guys have got a house full of kids, and that play is going to get you a long way. So just let loose and play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we mm-hmm. them, the more they tell me. I have a three and a four year old that are little wizards. <laughs> sometimes I'm just sitting there in awe. <laughs> they yeah. they can tell me the best things, man. Kids are great. <laughs> they are. They're so good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you kind of answered our question. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the two cards that I have, and I, they kind of, they kind of weave their way into the conversation. But I pulled there was two cards, maybe one for each of you. But contemplation, thinking about huh. how to do it, when to do it, how to move, when to move. Don't let nobody know. Just think about it, contemplate it, and then the other card I pulled is uh, confrontation. So, and that's what you just <laughs> mentioned, you know. And we'll, we'll just say a quick prayer. That uh, you won't have fear yeah, of con- of confrontation, right? You won't you won't let that hold you back. Any of that monster, mm-hmm. or or even like the fear of um, contemplation or um, confrontation is the fact that you're are mm-hmm. all you're already thinking about something that doesn't exist right now. You may not ever have any mm-hmm. confrontation. You may not have any judgmental people, but in your mind, you're already held back and reserved yeah. because exactly. it might happen and they might say this and if they do I'm going to go off the rails so it's fear false evidence appearing real it's you're creating things that don't exist you're almost creating a topa you're creating a monster that's not even there so we'll pray for that guy to fall that Goliath to fall and we'll, we'll go ahead and pray for that mm-hmm. if you want to we all have that fear we all have to yeah. get over that you know what I'm saying like that's a oh yeah you know, you can kind of kind of hear me talking about it with the trolls and opening up the phone lines, and you know, it's Man, always a, a through today. Yeah, but I'm not gonna let mm-hmm. them hold. I'm not gonna no let way. that hold me back. Like, why would you let somebody a, a fear of what somebody thought about you hold you mm-hmm. back from your destiny? You know. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, it's more or less like um, how we would react. I always want to represent the Holy Spirit, and then, um, but I'm mm-hmm. simply a human being with a real language system. Good. Good. <laughs> Some people need to be cussed out from time to time. So <laughs> you're human. You guys are human, man. You guys aren't like right. those super, super, you know, and that's what people need to understand, you know, and that's the, you know, we all yeah. are. Every single, every single one of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the apostles look. were sailors, so I bet you their language is quick. Man, oh, man, look. Who is it? Uh, Peter tried to cut the dude's ear off, you know. He stepped to Jesus. They were ready to fight, yeah. man. Like, they were ready to go at it. These dudes were thuggish. So, yeah. from the street, man. But, yeah. <laughs> they were. They're rough around the edges, That's man. Crazy, I mean, I like this. Yeah. All right, we'll pray right quick. Yeah. So, all right. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you have the perfect um, avenue of um, creativity, of um, ministry, of uh, ready for 
uh, Kenny and Allie, Lord, that, that you've, for them to call their own. They've always been there to help people. And I thank you that they're helping people. I thank you that you've brought them into my life, my wife's life, God, and that uh, they've showed up to help us and to encourage us non-stop with it and i just pray that in the right time when they step out there when you uh, open up that door for them to step out with their own thing that they'll just reap that karma they'll be able to reap what they've sown god that people will step up into their life to encourage them when they're on the path to do the right thing and that they'll just receive that same encouragement even from you father i just ask you to encourage them right now in the spirit of christ that you encourage them lord any fear any worry of contemplation about I might get in the flesh, I might tell them how I really feel. Lord, I thank you that that maybe if we tell them how we really feel, we'll all get breakthrough, Lord. I thank you for that, God, that we can be real. We don't have to wear a mask. We can see through the facade that that we're we're not hypocrites. We are are, going to be true to who you've created us to be the good the bad the ugly every single bit of it and just embrace that i thank you that you've put that spirit within them lord that you just bless them their family their marriage their children god uh draw them closer together and closer to you through everything bless their marriage god bless their friendships god bless everything that they do and i thank you that you already have and you have been we thank you lord that they'll just be uh found uh as good stewards with what you've already given to given them and that uh they they've been found doing the right things with, with their time and with their with their life lord that you'll bless them with more that they've been faithful with the few bless them with more i pray god abundance in jesus name amen 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 thank you mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> Yeah, and I just love and appreciate you guys so much um, for being a part of my life and the love and kindness that you pour out to me um, as well, right? And most importantly, though, I want to thank you guys for being you. Um, without you, that means individually, right, and together as well. But you being you is exactly what the world needs. And I just am so grateful that you guys are you. All of your expressions to me are beautiful. So thank you for for the contribution that you make to the collective and um, the world is better because you two exist. So thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> this is so love sweet. You. I love you. <laughs> yeah. And we're, we're going to see y'all Friday, hopefully Saturday too. Did you guys get the inf- invitation for Saturday? What? No, but Kenny can look on the thing. Okay. I'll go ahead and tell you if he hasn't reached out to you yet, but uh, Jeremy, wanted me to invite you guys over to their place for um, a bonfire Saturday night. Sweet. Yeah, Jeremy man. Be awesome. So you can bring the kids it's, and stuff um, too. So that'd be cool. Yeah. It's yeah. my next question. Can I bring <coughs> Sylvia and Sebastian? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Baby. That'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, Sylvia's going to be so stoked to see Gabe, man. They used to go to school together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So, awesome, so we, yeah. We, yeah. We will see y'all Friday night too. We're planning on going. So. Happy birthday. Awesome. When is your birthday? Yeah. Today? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Happy belated. Yesterday. So. Oh. <laughs> yep. Happy birthday to you. We'll celebrate Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll be at your party Friday if I can catch a ride over that direction. So. You'll be here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I love you guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. See y'all. Bye. Peace, peace. All right. Kenny and Allie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where we left off at with these calls. We got about 17 minutes left. I think uh, I want to say this number here, maybe the 201 area code. Caller from 201. You're live with Christy Lee. Who are we speaking with? Jackie. Hi, True Seeker. Hey, friend. How Hi, are you? Hi, Christy Lee. I'm, I'm good. In spite of, I'm good in spite of. I'm just trying to, you know, remain optimistic while I'm being pulled in so many directions at once. Mm -hmm. And I am in a new season, and I don't think that anything or anyone should stand in the way of what I have to do. And I'm doing everything not to let that happen. But just like you said previously, sometimes you feel like you got to cut some people out. Sometimes. And I'm not ready right yet. Yeah. I'm not ready right yet. When I let that when I let that out, it's going to be epic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sometimes, but not all the time. Not all the time. Yeah. I've wanted, and I'm mm-hmm. glad I didn't. Yeah. I, I was faced with the situation several months back um, where I wanted to, and I wanted to get down dirty. I wanted to call them every name in the book, and I wanted to expose them publicly on the internet. And I should have, and I would have, and I could have, but I didn't. And I think that because I didn't, I was blessed because of it. Um, I think I would have ruined it. I think if I would have did that publicly, I think I would have ruined my testimony, my witness, and uh, my platform. So it's not all the time. It's, you know, not all the time. So pray about it. <laughs> the Lord releases you to do that, then do it. <laughs> yeah. Pray it works. Yeah. But, you know, I want I want to let it out because, you know, it's just, it's a lot. And, you know, when you know you're at a place where it's time to move and get things done and you just want everybody to do their part and they find every excuse not to or they create stumbling blocks, I'm like ready to move it out my way. Well, pe- people don't like being taken advantage of, so. Exactly. Period. Period. But I, I really just want to see what you see in the season in terms of me moving forward and getting the things done in a timely order and organized order and done correctly. Okay. Um, the very first thing I'm hearing for you, Jackie, is surrender. <laughs> it's like mm-hmm. surrender, um, you know, get real clear on what it is that you're going through and surrender it, like toss that to the Christ inside mm-hmm. and allow um allow the Holy Spirit to begin to move in your life and to open up some of those doors for you. Um, it's sometimes we have to get out of our own way, right? In our own, in our own, um, our will can help to move things forward, but God's will can move a mountain forward. And so it's kind of like aligning into that and allowing, um, allowing the Holy Spirit to go before you and begin to clear out your path and make it easy. And if you'll surrender and continue to allow even all the thoughts and all of the disturbing things that play and hold up space within your mind, if, if you begin to take those captive every time it comes in, like identify what it is and then keep tossing it to the Christ inside and allow yourself to walk free under grace. And if you do that, you think you'll see things move super fast for you to where you will have... Um, you will I see movement, I see an actual move, I see um I see restoration, um, both physical, like a um like almost as if builders are in there. I don't know if it's um metaphoric, you know, like a metaphor that I'm seeing a rebuilding or a reconstruction or if it's literal. I'm not sure you would know that. Um but I'm it's seeing, literal. It's literal. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm seeing um, restoration and I'm seeing doors opening. So, um, but I am hearing a heavy counsel for you from the Holy Spirit that you've got to do a surrendering, let God be God and work through some of those um, areas for you and let your burden be light mm-hmm. and, um, and, you know, so you can allow a power greater than your own to um, be there as your support and your assistance. And yeah. if you do that, God is willing to move in your life. Those doors that have been shut, those things that you have not been able to see breakthrough in, the moment that you begin to give it to God, literally, and yeah. and to take those thoughts yeah. captive, not to allow them to torment you anymore, you are going to see everything open up, and it's going to be restored in ways and in manners that you don't even know about. But sometimes you got to, like, stop, um, like, take that arrow out of your back, right, and give that arrow, the arrows that have been shot towards you that have um, people that are seemingly against you, take those arrows out, stop counting your loss, and begin to align into your blessing because you've got blessings coming. So sometimes it's just a matter of not being the person that carries the weight, give it to something greater than yourself. Mm-hmm. And and you'll see movement in life like nothing that you can even imagine. And I and I feel that with every fiber of my being. <laughs> wow, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 
Go ahead. I think I think they're waiting ahead, for you to, to 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 actually blow up, so the cursing thing wouldn't be good. They want you to do that, mm-hmm. you know, so they can say, "Up, oh, told mm-hmm. you, told you she wasn't saved, told you she wasn't holy, I told you she was just like us, mm-hmm. right?" So they're kind of, you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. they're kind of poking at you, wanting you to do that. So you've already discerned the spirits that are there. You've already done that. Uh, you've done the knowledge. And so mm-hmm. we just ask God just for, for patience, even more patience. And even he'll give you knowledge and wisdom about what to do and how to act. So don't grow weary in well-doing, but just stay there. And at the proper time, the Lord will exalt you. These people ain't fixing to exalt you. You're not fixing to exalt yourself. At the proper time, the Lord will exalt you. And so that's what it's about. So, um that like i said don't grow weary in well-doing and um if, if you're faithful with that you're gonna be blessed with more and um mm-hmm. yeah don't 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 let them pull you out of your character um god has something i'm trying i'm, I'm doing everything you're doing great to. you're doing really good you gotta <laughs> vent sometimes but you're doing great you have yeah, been, so. everything, and, and I'm pressed. I'm pressed on every side, mm-hmm. but I still see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, I receive your words of encouragement, because um, sometimes it does get very dark and hard, and yeah. sometimes even hard to breathe. But you know, I'm looking for some things that were dear to me from my childhood yeah. in my mother's home that I would love to share with my children. And they were packed away. I still remember how they were packed. And I haven't located Mm -hmm. them yet. And Mm -hmm. I've been trying to, while I'm there cleaning and sorting, I've been trying to take that out of my mind because Mm -hmm. the one one person who pretty much tried to relate, I mean, erase me from my existence, you know, from my family tree, I don't understand why this person would hide my my awards from me. I don't understand why I'm praying that she didn't throw them out because it was so many. And they were things that I always wanted to let my children see. And I have yet to find them. And I'm praying that at the end of all this, I may go in the corner of the attic and they're there because that, that, that part like really hurts if she would have thrown them out and you know I remember my mother said something to me some years ago and I told my mother I said mommy she threw my things out I told my mother what I would do and my mother said no she couldn't have and I have yet to find these things and a few other stuff I know that my mother wanted me to have and you know it's just painful knowing that someone would just try to hurt you and make your life miserable for no apparent reason besides your jealousy and envy. You know, but I you know, I, I I believe that I'm gonna find it one way or the other. And and if I don't you're absolutely right. I don't wanna be like they are <laughs> and how they treat me. I wanna I wanna take a higher road but it's not easy. Mm-hmm. It's not easy. Nah. Mm-hmm. Not easy. No. It's not. It's not. The only the thing that gets me through is the same, you know, thing that the Holy Spirit is ministering to you on, and that is to um, keep giving that burden, right? Keep handing it mm-hmm. over to God, and and I know you've got restoration coming in your life. You do. The years that um, all the things that the years of you know stolen from you, in a sense, yeah. um, that you will see restoration within your life it's going to move um and it can be it can be so hard there's times in my life where literally moment by moment i have to sing like a song in my mind like i need you every hour or word how i need you (laughs) or um and i just repeat that same thing over and over and over again Mm -hmm. or um you know just that's the song that's coming to my mind right now there's other songs Mm -hmm. that i'll have just like literally and i'll let that become my tune and when i find my mind getting plagued with the Mm -hmm. um the pain and the hurt of the past or whatever um man i just toss that next thing to the christ inside and begin singing that song again you know 
And in yes. you will receive restoration. You just got to be willing to let the burden be given to somebody that can do something about it instead of you packing mm-hmm. it by yourself because it, it will, it's too heavy for you, girlfriend. So give it to God. <laughs> Toss it to that yes. Christian side and walk free under grace and let the Holy Spirit go out there and make your path easier and clear your way so you can have um, that restoration come back in for you. Yeah. Yes, I received that word wholeheartedly, yeah. but I I am tired. And I know he said, "Come to me, I those know. who are heavy laden." You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> I give you yeah. rest, and I'm looking mm-hmm. forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of mm-hmm. coming into. You can always come back into your center and receive rest, even in the midst of your storm, if you're willing to. Uh, continue right sometimes it's moment by moment where you just have to keep giving it to God God I've got this coming up and it's really painful it's hard for me to pack this on my shoulders here I'm going to give it to you I can't deal with this anymore I'm going to let you have that weight and breathe into it allow yourself to breathe out um, Mm -hmm. the the heaviness of it and continue to breathe through it and then you've got the next little thing that's coming up it feels like you're packing it around and you're like wow, this is too heavy, I can't pack this either, God, here, you're going to figure this out because I can't find a solution, I've been struggling with this for a long time, breathe into that, let God have that one, and then move on through with some breath again, and those breaths are going to take you back to it, and every time you come to that next little, whatever is your, um, the weight of your life and the world and your experience, situation you're going through day to day, all of the things that seem like they're against you, keep giving it one by one to God and you'll witness and every time it comes back up again give it to him again nope I'm not going to pick this back up and back it too much for me Um, get yourself a song that you can play in your heart and it will help you so you can actually rest give yourself some time in nature put your feet on the ground Um, take you know even stomp your feet on the ground outside on the grass barefoot um Shake your arms by a tree. Ask the earth and the tree to absorb, you know, some of the stuff. That will help you as well. Breathe in fresh, fresh air. Get yourself some sun. Um, those kinds of things will help lift your continents as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I'm, I'm going to get out in the morning mm-hmm. and rake and clean up the yard because I love doing that. Don't let them take your yeah. joy because it's always a blessing to hear from you, and it, it's it it's sad mm-hmm. to hear you kind of going through this stuff. It's all it's always um, a blessing to hear from you, but it's okay. It's how you feel that you're going through yeah, it. So it is. don't it's, act mm-hmm. like you're not. I'm, so I'm we, we, you know, what I'm saying we love you in the yeah. in the joyous, fun time prophesying times, and we love you when you're going through it and ministering to you as well. So yes. we just love you. Yes. So we, we do appreciate you calling and checking yeah. in with us, and you have a. A safe space here so that's what it's about I know I know and and thank you so much I mean physically I am exhausted and mm-hmm. you know spiritually and emotionally I've, I've been like I said pulled in a million and one different directions mm-hmm. however I know all things are possible and I feel it and know it that it's going to work out it's just that I'm surrounded by people who don't see the same things that I see who don't know yeah. what I know and they they become a drain as well I mean like you know come on enough is enough mm-hmm. and then there's always work you know and other responsibilities mm-hmm. like what else do you expect from me I, I have <laughs> one head two arms ten figures and toes I don't have two heads and ten hands, you know. <laughs> yep. Okay, I need to breathe. And and that surrender is what I do want to do because other people's stuff get in the way of my vision. Yep. And my vision is clear. I don't need your cloudiness. I don't need your confusion. And, and, and I, I've been trying to understand, like, karmically, what is it or what agreement did I make who have to come into this world and carry other people's burden. I don't want to anymore. I don't even want to carry my own. Like you say, surrender. Yeah, yeah surrender, 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 surrender. 
And I really sense that you're being invited. Like you've got some growth coming, right? And sometimes we have to, um, we have to be willing to shed some things so we can grow further. That Ninety expansion. seconds. So I think you already know misalignment in your relationships. I think some things you're going to be gradually become uncomfortable enough so you're going to step up into your power and make some choices and change. Um, and I see that for you. So just don't grow weary in it, and and know that you're. It's a test right now, and it feels like crap, but God's got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Jacqueline. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, hey, I appreciate the call, Jacqueline. The show's about to cut us off the air. 60 seconds. And, uh, it's always a pleasure to hear from you. I want to go ahead and just let everybody know because we got a bunch more callers tonight. Uh, we're not able to take your calls tonight, but we'll be back next week. And if you guys need someone to talk to, if you would like to book a private session with Christy Lee, I want to send you guys over to her website where you can do that. You can go to tap in tune in.com right now you can book a session with christy lee hit her up in the email and see if she can help you and uh she's really good at what she does so head on over there check her out and uh yeah join us there and um also every week at uh the same time 7 p.m central we do this every week we also have our discord community uh for those of you watching on youtube right now we'll be doing this uh, i'll be doing my podcast tomorrow at 10 a.m central so you can join us there too Anything else, Christy? But 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Yeah, just thank you so much. And I just send um, blessings to everybody of infinite um, love, ease, and grace. And thank you so much for being here and co-creating with us tonight in a sacred space. God bless. God bless, everyone. All right. All right, everybody watching on YouTube, see you guys on the next stream. Sorry we couldn't get to all of your calls, but we'll do it uh, next week. Peace, peace.